Well, the revolving door in politics uh, once again set in motion in Japan with the next uh, vote due uh, the 16th of December. Polls say it's likely to put the opposition LDP, the Liberal Democrats, back in power and recycle party leader Shinzo Abe as prime minister after a brief tenure which ended in 2007 with uh, really absolutely no impression or lasting impact. Among his campaign pledges in the recycled uh, manifesto, 2% inflation target, not easy in a country which, which has seen deflation for over 20 years. Uh, more monetary and fiscal stimulus, reforming laws so the central bank can work closer with the government or maybe the government can breathe down the neck of the central bank more. They take it either way. The idea of easy money from the BOJ sent the market up and the yen down against the greenback. And Abe is keen to create some, uh, well, real demand. I have never said the BOJ should directly buy bonds from the government. They should buy them from the market. He was kind of shooting from the hip earlier in the week and then proceeded to fine tune and come back off uh, some of the earlier talk. Also raised a few eyebrows about the fate of the central bank, especially after uh, Masaaki Shirakawa's retirement this coming April. Japan will be forced into the modern world of central banking because Shirakawa's replacement will be a dove. Um, that will be coupled with a massive fiscal, massive fiscal stimulus and the preconditions for structural yen weakness will be in place. Joining us, Mark Hibbs, MD, Portfolio Manager at investment management firm Gen2 Partners, and David Cook, Associate Professor of Economics at the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you. Thanks, Professor, let me start with you, okay? Because uh, your area of expertise is firmly in monetary policy. Now, what has gone on this week has been a lot of blowing of hot air, a lot of talk at this point. Um, many have gone to pains to point out that the things that Mr. Abe would like to see are not really, really realistic in Japan. What say you? I say that uh, they are realistic, that, uh, imp that talk is important in a situation like this, mm. since ex expectations, expectations about future inflation are going to be what's driving the economy. I think uh, that implementing a 2% uh, inflation target and reforming the overall framework in which monetary policy is conducted to uh, push the, the Bank of Japan into uh, a, uh, a system of accountability mm -hmm. for uh, achieving their inflation targets are all things that, that are part of modern uh, economies around the world and things that can be implemented in Japan and should be. All right, let me bring in Mark. Uh, 2%, they can't even get to one one percent, let alone two percent. I mean, what do you think about this uh, so-called plan? Well, you know, to, to, to target a two percent inflation target uh, and, uh, uh, as David said, to essentially hold, hold the, the bank to attempt to achieve that, we think is a good thing. Mm. Because we don't think that Shirakawa-san has uh, really had his heart in even getting it to one. I mean, certainly, uh, looking at the CPI numbers, uh, the, the banks um, forecasts uh, for CPI numbers have fallen short every single time. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we really do think they need to be um, much more aggressive mm -hmm. uh, in order to keep up, obviously, with, 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 with what's going on with the ECB and also with the FRB. Yeah. Um, another problem that we have with the current governor um, is that he doesn't project a belief mm -hmm. in this policy. And mm -hmm. as such, market participants think, well, if he doesn't believe it, he's not going to do it. Right. And so far, they would have been correct. Mm -hmm. So um, to have actually a potential leader of the country, potential, mm -hmm. um, in, in Mr. Abe for the second time, as you, as, uh, as you said, um, does give some hope. Some hope. Some hope. Okay. But, I mean, we're talking essentially about esoterics here, aren't we, Professor? I mean, you know, change of monetary policy and the role of the, the central government vis-a-vis the Central Bank of Japan. There's so many other things going on. I mean, Abe sounds like a classic Keynesian, wants to stick trillions, you know, tens of trillions of yen uh, back into the market. There are proposals to lower the corporate tax rate, which is good, but Abe doesn't even want to be in the TPP, you know, the Trans-Pacific uh, Partnership, because he wants to protect the rice lobby so they can charge 700 percent more That's an interesting than, the I mean, than the world market. I mean, the, the manifesto is vague in the extreme. It's all I over mean, the place. Uh, essentially, what he's trying to do is he doesn't want to alienate anybody at this moment in time. So we may join the TPP if, you know, there are certain things that we can exclude from, from, from the agreement. Mm -hmm. um, uh, nuclear power is another one, of course, because nu nuclear power is very important to Japan, given the current trade right. numbers mm -hmm. and 
fears over the current accounts. Okay. So, Professor, uh, Japan has a lot of economic issues. Uh, the central one is the efficiency levels of the, the business sector, especially those that are that are internal to Japan, the non traded sector. Inefficiency the in levels. inefficiency okay. levels, the low <laughs> efficiency levels. No. And and that's that's the central issue. Monetary policy is is not the most important uh, issue facing them. Thank you for but saying it that. is you'd think it was by judging from their from their from their blowing but, smoke this way. But there, but just because that you're not tackling the, the hard problems doesn't mean you shouldn't be tackling the easy problems. <laughs> and uh, and an environment in which monetary policy was was done in, in the best possible way would also create the environment in which implementing these types of structural reforms mm -hmm. would, I think, also be easiest. Right. What about the, what, what, what this concept? Shirakawa seemed to gas at the idea of running the uh, printing, the money printing presses 24-7 until you could induce... Inflation, but we talked about it before in the context of Japan. Maybe it's worth a would, try. He would have to buy so much that, um, uh -huh. you know, comments from the Ministry of Finance recently would suggest it's probably mm. borderline impossible to get it up to that level in any case, no matter what he did. No. I mean, he had to be taking down, you know, the entire issuance for a couple of years. Mm. So um, I, I tend to agree, though, that, I mean, if you, what we've seen this week, essentially, as you said, uh, is nothing concrete, but the yen's moved significantly. And it's moved versus the US dollar, it's moved versus the euro, it's moved versus the mm -hmm. Korean won. And as David suggested, if you can actually in in improve the profitability of essentially the cyclical stocks within Japan, no. that may give you a breathing space in which you can actually... Yeah, but four or five yen to a company like Canon or Toyota, which just recalled three million cars, it's not going to make a dent anymore, is it? I mean, it's not a, it's not a yen issue, is it really? Uh, professor, oh, well, the yen, yeah, the, the yen is is expensive. It's it's I remember when the yen expensive. was three hundred sixty. Remember right. that? Do you remember that back that far? I, I can remember when it was one hundred ten just a few years ago, and that and so they've become like thirty percent less competitive mm -hmm. versus versus uh, other economies, and that's thirty percent is a big margin, right? right? Okay. On any on the price of anything. I want to explore uh, last word, uh, Mark, if you would. They're, the demographics are working against Japan. There's no bones no, about horrible. that. Yeah. No. I mean, they went from 30 salary workers to support one retirement uh, two decades ago to, what, 10 now or something like that? 20, 30, it'll be like two or three to one. It's a disaster. They ain't having any babies in Japan. Correct. Um, because kids cost money. And, <laughs> oh, come on, it's, it's a rational I know, choice. I don't have any. It's a, it's, it's a rational choice. That, 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 you know, the country as a whole has made this choice. I think it's structurally hard for, for women to work with children in Japan. And, mm, uh, and that, uh, that is, uh, that's the, the, the issue that they should address, is, is making it more, uh, more easier yeah. for I uh, working mothers. I, tot I, I totally hear you. I what mean, the, the daycare will cost you more than your salary if you're working, so then you take if yourself you out of the it. job market. If you can find right. it, because there's a huge backlog there. So, yeah. Yeah. Gentlemen, appreciate it. We haven't fixed any problems here, but great to talk about it.